Breakers, better known as jackhammers, are one of the biggest work savers in construction and public works. With training, you can cut pavement, break concrete, dig in clay, and much more. Due to their size and power, there's considerable risk of injury if improperly used. The first thing you'll notice about a breaker is its sheer size and weight. Though it's true that breakers come in many sizes, most are quite heavy and are awkward to use. Most injuries associated with breakers are from improper lifting and usage. For some strange reason, people tend to store breakers in places which invite back injuries when they're retrieved, such as truck beds or under storage racks and in compressor bins. Most back injuries associated with breaker storage can be eliminated with a little creativity. Just look around your truck or a compressor trailer. A well thought out hanger not only keeps the breaker in an area where the risk of injury is small, but it helps keep your truck bed free for more storage space. Before you grab the breaker and begin to work, you should warm up physically. Strains and sprains are often linked to not being warmed up before the job begins. You see, professional athletes do it all the time. Their job depends on it, and so does yours. When preparing to use the breaker, there are a few necessary items of safety equipment that must be used. First of all, breakers are very loud, so hearing protection is required, not only for you, but for those around you as well. Have you ever heard of someone putting a gad right through their foot? Well, it happens all the time, so foot protection is definitely required. Most people feel that steel-toed boots are adequate enough. Well, they'll protect your toes, but what about the instep and the rest of your foot? The minimum foot protection should be foot protectors or steel-toed boots with metatarsal guards as well. Heavy gloves are a great help in protecting your hands from the constant vibration. Hand protection is an area that is not stressed often enough, but is something you may need to be aware of. Eye protection is another area often forgotten when operating breakers, and this is a major mistake. Breaking concrete and pavement can cause chips to fly amazing distances. Safety glasses and or face shields should be worn. And of course, if you're working in the street, an orange vest and hard hat are also required. Just like all the other tools in your truck, breakers must be inspected to be sure all the pneumatic fittings are not bent or cracked. If Chicago fittings are used, be sure the washers are in good shape and are not flattened or cracked. Also, check hoses for cracks or bulges. Be sure the safety pin is in good shape and in place. A wild whipping hose is something you never want to contend with. Modern compressors are equipped with a safety valve that automatically stops the flow of air to a hose if it should become disconnected. If your unit requires one, be sure it's working properly. Be sure the gad or blade is sharp and securely fastened to the tool. When preparing to work, lift the breaker with your legs or slightly drag the breaker into position. If the hose crosses traffic, be sure it's secured to the pavement. More than once, as a passing truck accidentally picked up a loose air hose, injuring the breaker operator. When cutting concrete pavement, position the breaker at a slight angle and move back and forth slightly. Cutting asphalt with a spade is most effectively done in 6 to 10 inches of asphalt. Anything thicker will require a gad. When making holes with a gad, keep them close together. If the holes are kept close, the equipment operator can often pop up the asphalt, making the job that much easier. If you've operated a breaker before, you know that gads and blades get stuck. To properly free a gad, don't jerk the tool. Simply release the gad and use another to dig it out. Using a breaker is really quite simple. The trick is to use it without risk of injury. Take turns at the breaker, giving other co-workers a break on big patches. Take time to be safe. Injury from the use of a breaker is not the fault of the breaker or the work conditions. It comes from improper operation and not following the rules of safety. Adherence to safety rules and a heightened awareness will go a long way in preventing injury. Thank you.